Hey guys, thanks for joining me for another Dissidia Final Fantasy Opera Omnia video. Uh, today I wanted to take a minute and just go through the new update uh, that came out with uh, Force Ability, Shinryu, all that stuff, because there are a couple of interesting tidbits here that were not announced during the live stream that I think are actually kind of cool. Now, I do apologize for no face cam, uh, mic quality is not very good. I am out of town right now, so I'm just recording this like directly on my phone. Um, but I wanted to get this video out right away. I'm also going to do a poll video for Kane tonight. That will also be at th this type of format, um, just because I'm out of town. But I do want to do a proper like force guide for everyone. That will come later when I get home and I've got my proper setup. So I'll probably do that on like Thursday. I know it's a little bit later than y'all probably want, but um, I really want that one to be like high quality. But this one's more of an informational thing. So this is to me is just more about getting the info out. Um, so that you guys have it, right? So let's go through the updates really quick. So obviously they added Shinryu, they added the force weapons. Like I said, that's gonna all be in a different guide. I'll go over that stuff in more detail later. Um, force enhancements, that's basically using character points. So you do need a lot more character points now, but they do address character points in this update, which we'll talk about really quick here in a minute. Um, they, I noticed right here at the top, they just sneak in the 300 gem cap right at the top, but it's not a big deal anymore, guys. There's a solution to that. If you're someone that's out of the loop a little bit, um, basically there was going to be a limit on how many gems you could hold and you couldn't buy stuff anymore, but they solved it by basically allowing you to just buy tickets with your gems, which are the same thing. So, uh, don't worry about that. It's not really a negative thing anymore. Um, so this is one of the big things. This is an ally interface that they added. So... Um, they added traits so that characters now have been given roles. So for example, um, if a character heals, if a character um, does brave gains, uh, if they can evade, things like that. This is really great because even myself as a veteran player, I've gone into Lufenia's and I'm like, oh, I don't even remember who can tackle this orb, right? And I have to kind of like remember what characters do because there's so many characters in the game. Now you can actually look characters up by their traits. You can sort your box by traits. So like, just for example, let's say you don't remember characters that can dodge, right? You can literally sort by evade characters now and it'll just show you all your characters that have evade. It's really, really nice. So that's a really cool addition, right? Um, like I said, you can filter by traits. Um, this is the enhance abilities page. This is really cool. Also, for those of you, if anyone here is a JP player, let me know if this traits page and this, uh, this enhance abilities page are on JP. Cause I never heard of these before, but they could have just been updates that nobody talked about, but this enhance one is really cool. So right here, you'll see on this little page here, you literally get a snapshot of everything you need to do to max out a character. Um, now with this update, I might actually redo my maxing character guide because it's gonna be a slightly different, right? Cause now force adds a new thing to that element, but now characters all start at level 70 and we could access everything through this page. So I might do a new video on that, we'll see. Um, characters now have like a power level, which is really cool too. So you just as a quick snapshot. So I might like go into my box and just see like what the power level looks like in my characters. It'll be kind of interesting, right? Okay, um, game system updates. This one's not a huge deal, but there's now force related passives. So you can just like toggle those on or off just like the other passives for like visibility. Um, the chapter screen, obviously we've, we've gotten so many chapters now that screen was getting really overwhelming with the huge map and trying to scroll and find the stages. So now they've got a little drop down menu where you can just quickly access the chapters, which I think is very good. Uh, when you use auto plus, FR abilities will be used when they're available, which I kind of figured they would do that. Um, after clearing act one, chapter one, all characters go to level 70, which was something that was announced. Um, all, uh, summons will be raised to level 20. So this is another guide I might have to update. I don't know. I have a guide on summons. And obviously I talk about, you have to do all the trials and get them to 20. Now you don't have to do that. They actually took all the trials out. So literally summons start at 20. This is good because I, to this day, did not have Sylph or Chocobo at level 20 because they weren't like easily grindable. They took a little, they're a little bit more of a grind. They didn't have like dedicated stages. Um, and you, so you had to grind like um, Carbuncle's Treasures or like some of those weird stages. Um, but now they just automatically got put to 20. So now I got them at 20, so I'll take it. Um, trial of summons removed, which I already mentioned. Um, they adjusted some of the missions um, having to do with the trial of summons being closed. So that's not too big of a deal. Um, oh, and then the world of illusions quest. So instead of just seeing like giant banners for every summon all at once, 
um, you just go into like World of Illusions Ultimate will have its own button. And then within that button, you'll see like a drop down with all the summons. It's just a little bit easier to look at. Okay. Um, now this part's really cool. They're making it, and this is great for newer players. I pretty much have all my summon boards done. I have a few I can do, so I'll actually test this out. But they're heavily increasing um, the amount of board, like summon board points you get, which is really good because that's a really big grind. So you're getting more wild points and a lot more summon points now. Um, they took out Novus missions, um, and I think they just like lumped those uh, rewards somewhere else. Um, yeah, they had, uh, for enhancement sports, I didn't even realize this, but the requirement used to be to get cloud to crystal level 50. Now they're just saying clear act one chapter one. So basically for new players, you clear act one chapter one, you're going to unlock a ton of stuff because all your characters are going to go to 70, your summons are going to go to 20. Um, and then you're going to unlock, uh, enhancement boards as well. Um, the, the summons tutorial has been made easier to progress through. Okay. Um, probably because your summons all start at level 20, right? Okay, so now there are some item exchange things that they did change, which I think is very, very cool. So um, normally for power for 100 G tokens, you get one power stone. Now they're giving you four power stones, which is good. And then what they're going to do is at 400 power stones, um, you're going to be able to get four uh, of like the high power stones, which that's something that wasn't added to JP till about like a month after four started. So we're getting this early on global. So that's actually really, really, really cool, right? Um, the limit of Decidia points has gone up. This I actually really like. We can now hold 5,000 Decidia points instead of 3,000. This is really, really good. Um, because I would always cap on Decidia points. Um, the other thing too is they're going to actually allow you to buy more Power Stones. I think you can buy four per week, or no, 10 per week um, instead of just one. So that's really, really good. You're going to be able to buy more Power Stones. Um, so yeah, and that's the Decidia Point Exchange lineup will be updated. And so that's one of the things that will be in the update. Now here's, guys, this here. Like slightly, this is going to go under the radar and some people are going to miss this. This is almost the reason I wanted to make this video because this is insane. So in my character guides, I talk about weapons that aren't on banners that people need to buy, right? So what they've done here is they've made some weapons available in the power token that weren't. Most of these weapons are like the dark, the mannequin weapons that were obtainable in like chapter two, act five or whatever, whatever that chapter is I referenced in my video. But now say if you're someone that accidentally sold them or you don't want to wait till you get through the chapter, um, you can actually buy extra copies of them in the power token exchange now. So now it's not like a dead weapon if you sold it. But the thing that's really, that people might miss here is in the very middle of this list, there is the Buster Sword NT. Now what this is, this is a weapon for Cloud that I to this day did not own. I actually just bought, before I recorded this video, I actually just bought mine for the first time. For those of you that don't know, like I've been playing this game since day one when it came out and they did a promotion alongside Dissidia NT. Uh, and if you bought the actual Dissidia NT game, there was a code that you could do to get the Buster Sword. And I remember people were selling this code on eBay for like 30 bucks. <laughs> um, so now this Buster Sword NT is actually available to everyone. So if you want to buy it, just like the passive isn't like make or break for Cloud, but like even if you want the weapon skin, I want it for the little bit of stats too. I believe it ups Brave Damage of his skill one and skill two. Um, so yeah, if you're someone that's a Cloud fan and you think your Cloud is maxed, he's actually not maxed until you get this Buster Sword now. If you want every passive Cloud can have. So highly recommend for veteran players, go pick up Cloud's Buster Sword NT. Very, very exciting on that, right? Um, okay, um, Mugo Pass increases. So this is really great um, because they're basically making it so you can get more enhancement points. And this is heavily needed because with force enhancements, characters need a lot more. Right now to max out a character with LD boards, I think it's 8,000. But once uh, characters get force enhancements, I think it costs like 21,000 or something like that to completely max them out. And for new players, excuse me, this is gonna be really, really tough. Well, now if you have the regular Mog Pass, you can get 15,000 per event. And if you have premium, you can get 30,000 per event. Now, if you're free to play, you're still stuck at 5,000. So this is a good business move on their port, part because it's making the Moogle Passes more tempting. This is how Opera Omnia is trying to make money, and this is how they should be making money 
um, because of how free to play friendly the game is. So I like this approach that they're remaining very free to play men, uh, friendly in that they are just shoving gems and tickets at us and we can pull a lot. I love that. Um, so their method to make money is through the Mog Pass. So um, definitely I don't mind them making this change. Um, I think it's a good change and I think it's gonna get more people to buy the pass. So I, I actually like this. Um, and I want the game to do well because I want it to stick around unlike Record Keeper, which just shut down, right? Um, this is just something about new warrior gem shells, and then there's a start dash draw, um, data backup change. That's not a big deal. Um, <laughs> adjusted Rygen's LD weapon. Sure. And then just various updates. Right. Um, and that's basically it. But the big thing I really wanted to shout out in this video though, was that Buster Sword NT is actually here. You can buy it. So anyways, guys, let me know what you think. Let me know if you have any other questions. Like I said, uh, cane video will come out in this same format. Cause I'm out of town and then I will do a force guide probably Thursday night and it will go up either Thursday night or Friday morning. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching. We'll catch y'all on the next one.